In this video, we use the filter function and advanced filter to extract specific columns. If you are yet to watch the previous video, you can pause this, click on the link in the card above or in the description box below and come back to this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Let's take a look at some examples. The filter function allows you to extract the information you need based on a defined criteria. The table shows a list of property types, location, and year of construction. The goal is to extract a list based on the column header specified in I4. I use data validation to create this drop down list. Now, to refresh our minds, the filter function has three arguments array, that is the data range to extract the data. Include is the array of booleans, which returns true or false. And if empty is where you can specify a value when no values are found. Let's extract the city column. Filter. Array is the entire table, excluding the headers. Click to select the table when you see the black diagonal arrow. For the include argument, we need the array to test the criteria and that will be the column headers. So select the headers equal to the criteria in I4. We don't need the last argument, so close the bracket and enter. Now we have a list of items in the city column. I can change it to another field and it will update automatically. Now what if we need to filter the row based on a criteria? What do we do? Simple we can use a nested filter function. So I'll insert another filter function right before the existing one. Filter, the array will be the column returned by the first filter, comma. Include is where we would specify the criteria. So select property equals commercial. Close the bracket and enter. Now we can filter both columns and rows. How cool is that? Let's take a look at another scenario. Now, what if you want to return multiple columns, say type and year? You see, there are different ways you can do this. However, I'll show you a simple method. Just like the previous example, filter. For array, click to select the table. Include, that's this range, the column headers. Equals the criteria in I enter. It's an error. Remember, the include argument returns true or false, and it will only return the data when it's true. So I need a formula to make the include argument return true. I'll show you in two steps. Let's move over to this cell. Watch this closely. First step is to match the headers in the source data to what I want. So I can use the match function or X match function. I'll go with X match. If you want to know more about X match, you can click the link in the description box below. X match returns the position of an item. X match. Look up value at the column headers in the source data. So select the headers. Look up array at the column headers that I want to extract. Now it would default to an exact match so I can skip the argument, close the bracket and enter. It was only able to match two of the columns and we can see their positions. So how can we change this to true or false? This brings us to the second step. The is number function checks if a cell contains a number and if it does it returns true otherwise it returns false. So we'll wrap the xmatch function in the isNumber function, which has only one argument. isNumber, value is the position returned by xmatch. Close the bracket and enter. Now we have our formula, which will be used in the include argument. So I'll cut and paste it in the formula. Enter. Now we have the columns. This method allows you to extract the columns in the same order with the source data. So you can place here before city or city before type. I'll cover that in another video. 
Now we can use a nested filter function to filter the row based on this criteria. Filter, the array will be what the first filter function returns, comma, include is where would specify the criteria. Select here, the logical operator here is less than. So year is less than 2010. Close the bracket and enter. Now we can filter both. This is really cool. Now let's take a look at advanced filter. Advanced filter is relatively straightforward and similar to the example in the previous video. Click anywhere in the data, go to advanced filter, for action select copy to another location. The list range will be the entire table including the headers which has been automatically selected. Criteria range will be this including the header. You don't have to select an empty cell for copy to. All you have to do is select the column you want returned and click OK. That's it. We'll use the same technique for the second example. Click anywhere in the data, go to advanced filter. For action, select copy to another location. The list range will be the entire table, including the headers, which Excel has stored in memory. Criteria range will be this, including the header. For copy to, select the columns you want returned and click OK. Easy peasy. The cool thing about advanced filter is that the columns can be in any order. That's all for today. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.